Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you how to create an Access database. This is the screen you will see when you first open Access or when you open Access and as opposed to Excel, Word and PowerPoint where you can open a blank file, uh, enter data etc you can then give the file a name. In Access we give the file a name first and then create the database. So what I'm going to do is to change the name of this database to My Friends because the database we're going to create is for My Friends. I'll put it into the Documents folder by default. If I want to put it somewhere else I simply need to click the folder here and put uh, browse for a location to put the database but I'm happy at this stage to leave it in the documents folder. When I click create Access creates a file for me and offers me a table over here. Now the idea of a table we can think of it as the spine of the database. In other words the very first thing I need to do when I'm creating a new database is to create the first table. And I see here in the top left hand corner there's a little button called View. When I click the drop arrow at the moment I'm in data sheet view where I can add information to this particular database, to this particular table, but I also see that there is a view called Design View. Now this is an important view because when I go to that view I'm asked to give the table a name. I'm going to call the table Friends and when I click OK I'll see that the table has been renamed Friends and I see this particular window pops up. It is the Design View window of a table. Now <clears throat> I also see that a little key has been entered here. That's called the primary key and the field name defaults to ID but I'm going to change that to friend ID and every time I enter a new friend I want them that friend to be given a separate ID. The primary key stops me from having two or more friends with the same ID. In other words, each friend will be a unique record. I also see a data type of auto number. The auto number simply means it will start at 1 by default and as I add each friend the uh, ID of that particular friend will increase by 1 each time as we shall see. Now I'm going to add some fields and I'm going to click down here and the first field will be first name when I press tab it says will this be text? Well the answer will be yes of course. There are other data types here that we'll see as we go on and here there is a line called description and I'm just going to say enter first name because when I use a description I'll see a little reference to that description uh, to, to help in data entry will appear at the bottom of the screen. Next field I'll say is surname. Tab defaults to text. That looks good. I won't bother about a description here. Uh, you uh, will have understood the idea of that. And the next will be date of birth so that I can send them birthday cards if I wish. When I press tab I don't want text there. I want date time. And uh, here I'll just say uh, enter date of birth. Next we'll say telephone. That will also be text even though the telephone will be a number but because I might have spaces in it then I want the data type to be text. And I'll just say over here enter telephone number. Enter telephone number. Good. Now 
Uh, I might also want to, for example, know the state that the person lives in and that will of course be text and I'm going to show you shortly how to have an automatic entry of a state by default when I start to enter data. So at this stage uh, that will do me for the fields. I can add more later as we shall see. So I just want to go back to the data sheet view. I can click the button or click the button here but data sheet view and I'm now ready to enter information into the database. This machine's a little bit slow but save the table yes because every time I make a change in the uh, design view I'll be asked to save the table so we'll say yes and here is my data sheet view so I'm ready now to enter some information keep an eye on the ID here as I start to enter information into the table so my first friend is Tom and he is friend ID number one Tom Brown tab takes me to the next field and we'll say Tom was born on the 23rd of April 1987 tab for his telephone number will say 02 uh, 9876 Tom lives in New South Wales tab tab my next friend is Helen tab Smith and you'll notice that she was automatically made number two Helen's date of birth, we'll say, was the 1st of February 1990. Uh, her telephone number is 03-678-5430. And Helen lives in Victoria. One more for luck. We'll say Bob Tab. Notice how Bob has become ID number three. That's because this friend ID field is a primary key field. I cannot have two friends with the same ID. Uh, Bob's surname is Bob Green and his birthday was the, uh, we'll say the 20th of June 1978. Telephone number will be 02 and Bob lives in New South Wales. So there's my uh, information uh, in the database. Remember that the table is the first thing that I must create because unless I have a table then I can't create a form based on that table to enter data as we'll see in, the, uh, in, a, in a future upload. But shortly we'll see how I can change the properties of the fields in that particular table. At this stage just just ensure that you understand the primary key and how the table can be renamed, saved and information entered into the database in datasheet view.